This project is a representation of an audio or an acoustic transducer. It's designed to show you that a dynamic microphone and a moving coil speaker are essentially the same thing, a transducer. The same transducer can be wired such that it functions as an acoustic to electric transducer, aka microphone, or it can be connected such that it functions as an electric to acoustic transducer. In order to recreate this project, one needs an old speaker that can be taken apart, some audio cables that can also be taken apart, some alligator clips, an audio interface with a microphone preamp, and a power amplifier. This is a picture of the male XLR plug, which is the output. It can always be identified as the plug with the three pins sticking out of it. This is a picture of the female XLR plug, which is the input. The female XLR plug can always be identified as the plug with the three holes in it. Here, we are looking at the three holes of the female plug. The holes are numbered as one, two, and three. In this diagram, the female plug is located on the left. As shown here, each hole has its own function. The first hole connects the chassis ground or cable shield, which usually connects to earth or ground. The second hole connects the positive polarity terminal, or is also called the hot terminal. And the third hole connects the cold or return terminal. An XLR jack can be broken down into one, two, three, four parts. The main piece we need to be concerned with is the one with the colored wires coming out of it. You notice that there are three wires sticking out. The braided wire represents number one, or the cable shield. The red wire represents number two, or the hot terminal. And the black wire represents number three, or the cold terminal. In order to connect all of these things, one needs to start by connecting the transducer to the red and black or hot and cold alligator clips. In this project, we were able to use color coordination to keep live and return signals separate. You may need to check or test your XLR pins to make sure the colors line up with the appropriate pins. Now we connect an XLR plug, either one, to the alligator clips. Remember, Black connects to black, and now red connects with red. You notice that there is only enough wiring to connect one of them. The alligator clips can be clipped to either the male or female, but never both at the same time. Once everything is connected, tape it to a flat surface to keep the wires secure. Now that the project is completed, we get to use it. Now, let's connect this transducer panel as a speaker. Using a quarter inch TRS to male XLR cable, connect the male XLR end of the cable into the female XLR cable as shown here. Connect the audio interface to the transducer by inserting the TRS end of the cable into the output of the interface and the XLR end into the input or female XLR plug on the panel. Here is what it should look like. Now, let's connect this transducer panel as a microphone. First, disconnect the alligator clips from the input plug and connect them to the output plug. Then, connect the output of the panel to the microphone input of the audio interface. Now, when you speak into the transducer, you can see a signal on the meters of your audio recording software.